Hello everyone, and welcome back. We're back tonight to begin uh, Ease the Oath and Felgana. As you know, I am fairly new to the E series, so this is my first time playing this. And hopefully this will go better than E's Origin did, so... Let's begin and see how I do. Uh, da -da -da, very easy, easy, normal. Let's do normal. At least until we see how I do. And tonight is going to be a slightly shorter stream because I started late, so... Hope you'll well, be okay with that. All, here we are. This is Felgana. I was hoping we'd get here a little earlier in the day, but I wasn't expecting the waters to be so rough. Still... This place does bring back memories. Hard to believe it's really been eight years since I left. There's Margo, I always called her Mams, and old Gardner. Not to mention Chester and Elena. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing after all this time. Oh man, what the hell happened here? Hmm? This monument's dedicated to the god of safe journeys. It's a relic of the old religion, from when people believed that spirits existed even in stuff that wasn't alive. I just don't get why anyone would deface it like this, though. I guess maybe the rumors really are true. What was that? It came from over there! Okay, just a moment. I want to check something real quick. Okay, yeah, I think I need to lower this a little bit. Just a little bit. Does that look better? Eh, hang on a minute. Eh, that's gonna bother me. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Okay, that's better. Except now I need to fix this. I get OCD about stuff too. Yeah! Um, this is making me delay the stream even more, but, uh, anyway, welcome to stream soup. How you doing tonight? How's that look? Okay, that looks good. You look like you're in good spirits? Thanks. <laughs> uh... What's going on with my mic, though? Okay. Uh, do I seem like I'm... Does it seem like I'm cutting out at any point while I'm talking? I am covered in glitter. Oh, really? What happened? What were you doing? I hear you clearly. Okay, that's good. Maybe I need to turn the volume down some. Is that better? No. Okay, fine. I'll let it. I'll just forget it. You say you can hear me fine, so I'll trust you. Covered in glitter, which means fabulous. Yep. <laughs> I was cutting fabrics for customers, and it was covered in the stuff. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Hey, wait up, at all? Come on. Damn it! Left behind again. Guess he's not used to it at this point. Okay, I think I'm going to have to adjust the game volume in-game a little bit. <laughs> so I'll do that as soon as I can. What the hell are monsters doing in Felgana? So I guess I will be glitter from now on. Glitter is hard to get rid of. I guess so. 
But yeah, I think we'll have to see if I can adjust the volume in game as soon as I can. These are Adol's basic movements and attacks. Attack defaults to Z key. That doesn't help, I'm not using the keyboard. Uh the attack there in the ascent of a jump. Jump is X Q oh gosh. Like I said, I don't know what I'm just gonna have to figure out the controls myself, I guess, because now I'm using the controller, not the uh, not a keyboard and mouse. Okay, B is jump. And A is tack. Got it. What is boost mode? When Al's boost mode reaches 100%, press the boost key to activate boost, okay? Both the speed and strength of Adol's attacks will increase significantly. With proper timing, up to 10 consecutive hits may be landed on a single foe. Adol will take only half damage and will suffer no knockback or interruption when hit by enemies, okay? Okay, why button does that? Uh, are there more enemies or something? Oh, okay, yep. Excuse me. Thank you very much for saving me. You're a traveler, aren't you? Um, are you hurt at all? Are you all right, Adol? Right when you ran off, I got attacked by monsters, too. I'd like to know what the hell those things are doing in Felgana. Whoops! Excuse me. I guess they must have been after you. Are you okay, miss? You don't look like you're hurt, at least. Sounds like Colette from Tales of Symphonia. Uh, it's been a long time since I played Tales of Symphonia. I wonder if it is the same voice actress. I'd have to look that up. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? Something I'll try to listen face? again, Am I, too. Like, covered in monster gore? We should probably get moving and head to town before we're attacked again. I can't say I recognize your face. You've got to live in Redmond, I figure. Dogie? Yeah, it does kind of sound like her. You're right. Uh. I knew it. I must be dreaming. Doki, you're actually back. Plus, I think this was originally a PS2 game, so it's probably not out of the question that it could be the same voice actress. Uh, I'm debating on playing through Power Rangers games based on the series he was in. Oh, that sounds nice. For more than a cameo. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Dragoon. The Green Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, I knew who you were talking about. <laughs> no worries. See you racing if you want to feel true pain. <laughs> oh, goodness. Gosh, I think the only Power Rangers games I ever played were on the Super Nintendo and maybe... I think there was one on PS4 I might have played. A little bit of. So I'm guessing you all heard the details of his death. Yeah, it's sad. Well, I have anyway. 
I looked up an article about after you mentioned it. He was a real one. He'll be missed. Yeah, I was just talking about how I had just shown you that article of him a couple of days ago. Soup. Of when he visited that comic shop I go to. So I imagine they're probably sad to hear about his loss, too. <laughs> the owners of that store. <laughs> he had a lot of fans, yep. What have you been doing all this time? Same with Jason David Frank's four kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. I didn't even realize. Well, I didn't know much about his family, really, but I was surprised to hear he had four kids. <laughs> but, yeah, I imagine they're sad. Um, well, they have to be sad. There's no way they wouldn't be. Hey, hold on a second now. You obviously know me, but... Do I know you? How can you even say that? You, me, and my brother used to play together all the time when we were kids. Don't you dare tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no way! When I last saw you, you were just a, a skinny little tomboy! <laughs> Smooth, doggy. <laughs> well, that was eight years ago. I'm 17 now. I'm sorry, I was thinking she might have been 13, maybe 15 at most. Okay. Man, you sure are. <laughs> and how old is Doki at this point? Uh, anyway. I'm sorry, where are my manners? It's nice to meet you. And, again, thank you very much for your help. My name is Elena. Mm-hmm. Elena Stoddart. Oh, okay. In my time, I've wandered everywhere. Around this world, hope would always be there. Time for our opening cutscene. Hey Rain, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Also, cute emote. Fortune tellers must have really been a thing in these earlier games. Yeah, Reed, this game originally came out on PlayStation 2, right? Or was it Pia? You think so? The uh, reason I bring it up is because, um... Uh, Soup seemed to notice that Elena's voice seems to sound similar to Colette's from Tales of Symphonia. And I was thinking that probably was roughly around the same time, so it could be. I don't know for sure, but I definitely hear she sounds, she does kind of sound like her. I agree with Soup on that. <laughs>
no PSP. Well, still could have been close enough to that time that she could have still been voice acting. So that's something I'll have to look into. <laughs> Elena, where have you been? You had me worried sick, staying out so late. I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I just... Uh, it's okay, Elena. As long as you're all right, we'll pretend this never happened. So, who are your two friends? I don't believe I recognize either one of them. Well, at least Dogie's not the only one with... Memory lapse. <laughs> <laughs> Look a little closer. You'll get it in a second. Uh huh? Hey there, Gardner! Still standing at the gate like always, I see. Wait. Dogie! Is, is that really you? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been a little out of touch. I'm sorry. My favorite little troublemaker has come home! Where have you been all this time? And what have you been up to? Well, you know, wandering, killing monsters, saving the world. The usual. That is because it is Colette. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> that it could be this. That's what I was saying. I thought it could possibly be the same voice actress given when this came out. <laughs> Anyway, I brought a pal of mine along. Go on, Adol, introduce yourself. Adol introduced himself to God. Oh, even the narration's voiced. Okay. An adventurer, eh? Well, that's certainly a rarity. But from the looks of that sword on your belt, I can tell you're no amateur. No, he's quite remarkable. This game didn't voice get voice acted until a few years ago. Oh, okay. I guess that's good for me. I won't have to read too much. <laughs> I was attacked by monsters just now, and he came right to my rescue. Is that a fact? Hmm. Well then, you have my thanks, good sir. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there to help. That's the problem with gate duty. You miss all the real trouble out in the field. Does raise a point worth discussing, though. Why are there monsters here in the first place? I feel accomplished for guessing that. Yep. Nice ear. Nice nice ear there, Soup. <laughs> Cause I didn't even think anything of it until you mentioned it, so Hi, Gerald. Gerald. Gerald? I just looked her up and dang, she gets a lot of work. Oh, does she? Because, the only, cause yeah, uh, Colette is the only role I really knew of <laughs> that she did, I think. At least that I, that I was aware of. It's possible she's voiced other characters I'm familiar with. David Lodge voices Gardner. Gerald from Three Houses? Or am I thinking of... I'm gonna get, get the name wrong. Shiki and Neo, the world ends with you. Oh, okay. Don't know how I missed that one, although in, if it was a Neo, that was years later, so she could have sounded a little different. Gerald, Gerald. I, ho I feel like I'm getting the wrong character. Amy in the Soul Calibur series. I need to play Soul Calibur again. <laughs> Need to buy Soul Calibur 6 at some point. <laughs> Let's see. We'd heard rumors that Felgan has fallen on hard times. But I had no idea it had gotten so bad. Yeah, things certainly aren't looking up these days. It's been pretty bad for around a year now. 
Okay, yeah, I definitely hear it now. <laughs> Rain, I definitely hear Gerald now. We're rarely visited by anyone anymore as a result. No travelers, no merchants. Man, that sucks. Well, it's also getting in late. the original you world. You can tell interview. me all oh, okay. about where you've been and what you've done come morning. For now, you should head on in and get some sleep. I bet you're exhausted after what you've been through. And a weird one. She is the voice of Ducky in several of the Land Before Time sequels. Oh, okay. I've watched a few of those. <laughs> This place sure hasn't changed much either. Not sure if I saw any of the ones she would have been in, but... Also, Yona from Near Replicant. Ah, okay. I used to live and work at this inn when I was a kid. I owe Mams a lot for looking after me back then. Hey, Elena, go get Chester, would you? I haven't seen him in so long. And we can't have a reunion party if everyone's not here. Am I supposed to take this as meaning that Doki's an orphan? And that he was raised by the owner of the inn? <laughs> if one new item in your inventory on Steam. Okay, let's see what that is. Uh, uh, got a card called Into His Eyes. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, let's go back to the game. I'm sorry. He's not in town right now. What? Oh, no way. Oh, well. What can you do? He's probably pretty busy. I'm afraid I'll be taking my leave for the night as well. My long absence likely had a few people worried, so I really should let them know I'm okay. Yeah, go ahead. We'll be fine here for the night. Did something happen to Chester that we're not being told about? I guess we'll find out. We're probably gonna hang out a little before we go to bed. By the way, are you and Chester still living with the mayor? Oh no. He and I have a house on the edge of town now. It's just... Hmm? Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. I guess I'll be off then. It was nice to meet you, Adol. And good to see you again, Dogie. I know you two must be tired from your journey. Please, take it easy and get some rest, okay? Yeah, how old are Adel and Dogie at this point, Reen? <laughs> Mostly Dogie, but... <laughs> for a certain reason, but... She's acting kind of strange. Uh, probably just been a rough day for her. Man, though, she sure has filled out nicely. And she's got that whole childhood friend thing going for her, too. Well, okay, I'll admit I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> Who am I kidding, though? She's gonna fall for you, not for me. That's always how it goes. Uh, let's just get inside. Hey, Queen. Welcome to stream. How you doing tonight? I don't know. Things could go different this time, Dogie. We'll see. Like you said, there's the whole childhood friend thing going for both of you. Oh, yeah. Sorry about... Sorry. You're still... Uh, I don't know how to word what I'm saying. Sorry to hear that, Queen.
Dogie? I can't believe it! It's really you! Adol is 19? Okay. Come home. Well, that's one way to greet him, I guess. And look at that Dogie's 23. Muscles. Oh, okay. You've grown so big! Last time I saw you, you were just a pudgy little brat. Wow. Bet that's something Dogie didn't want Adol to hear. At least I got video game girls that won't leave me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it's me. I'm back. You're looking well. You know, I haven't heard a peep out of you since you left. Would it be so much to ask for some kind of contact? A letter at least if you couldn't visit. I'm sorry, ma'ams. Well, I always figured you'd do well for yourself. It certainly is nice to see you back safely, though. And you're a friend of Dogie's, then? Adol gave his name and explained that he had been traveling with Dogie for quite some time. It's gonna take getting used to having the even the narration voiced. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for looking after our little wayward wanderer. Okay. Unfortunately, you've arrived at a pretty bad time. Lots of unpleasant business going on lately. Yeah, we saw. But still, happy events like these are rare, so I intend to enjoy this while I can. Ma'ams. You two boys must be hungry. Let me fix you up a nice big meal. And you'd better clean your plates if you know what's good for you. So then, how is the investigation coming along? You have nothing to worry about, my lord. We've already confirmed their locations. The Tigre Quarry, the Ilburn's Ruins, and the Sacred Mountains of Elder. All that now remains is to organize the men and begin our search in earnest. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Once I possess what I seek, my might and majesty will be known far and wide. Indeed. Perhaps my homeland could lay claim to all of Europa. Oh, okay. That was a little confusing. <laughs> Either way, this certainly should be an enjoyable undertaking. Wouldn't you agree? In your hands, my lord, I'm certain that dream will become a reality. <laughs> Indeed it will. Indeed it will. I leave the search in your hand. Make certain it continues without interruption. I expect good news forthwith. You do me great honor. I pledge you my success, Lord Maguire. I shall see to it that your faith in me is not misplaced. I wonder who our bad guy, who our villains are. <laughs> so, Adol, while I'm here, I think I'm going to swing by the Elder Mountains for a bit to visit my old master. He's the one who taught me everything I know about fighting back when I was a kid. If anyone would know the reason for all the monsters showing up around here, he'd be the one. I won't be gone long, though. You should relax and tour the town. It's a really nice place. If you have any questions, you can ask Elena. She said her house was on the outskirts of town, so I'm sure it won't be too tough to find. I'm off for now. See you later, buddy. Okay, let me see here. Uh. Can't bring up a menu. 
Okay, fine. Okay. I get a feeling we're not going to be just visiting for long. <laughs> Good morning, did you sleep well? I guess Togi's already gone out, lord knows where. Still, can't ever sit still, that boy. Still can't ever sit still, that boy, even after all these years. He's, a, he's grown the muscles of a man, but he's still got the head of a hyperactive little brat. He hasn't gotten you into trouble during your travels, has he? I'd say it's mutual. Your life. Redmond, humble trade town. Seriously, how do I open up a menu here? Huh. Because I've tried every button. Oh, there we go. It's the right joystick. I pushed down on the right joystick. I wonder who Count Dumbass could be. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Oh, come on, I can't save? Well, anyway, this is what I wanted right now, is the options. Because I wanted to turn down the background music volume a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the default one. <laughs> I think you can save at certain points. Okay. Probably not necessary right this moment. I'm sure it'll let me save before it's really needed. Okay. Which means you must be Adam, that friend of Dogie's I've been hearing so much about. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Nell, and I'm a devotee of the church. Is it true that you saved Elena from a pack of wild monsters? Words cannot express how thankful we are for that. I've pledged myself to this church for many a year, and have known the Stoddart children since they were very little. They've always regarded me as a big sister to them, sister with a small ass that is right and I've always regarded them in kind which is why traumatic events like last night's unpleasantness affect me so oh you must be Adol. it's nice to meet you 
I'm Father Jean-Pierre, pastor of this church. Ellen has had quite a lot to say about you. I understand you're the one who saved her when she was ambushed by a pack of monsters. For that, I must truly thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm certain that Elena had her reasons for being out so late. She denied any, of course, claiming it was just a flight of fancy. But I feel there's more to it than that. If I pressure her to tell me things she wishes to hide, though, I can see no good coming of it. Ah, but I digress. Please forgive me. This is our very first meeting, and here I am, babbling away. May God's blessings be with you in your travels. If anything ever troubles you, always remember, the church's doors are open. Come by any time, day or night. explained that Dogi had gone to visit his old master in the Elder Mountains. Oh, that's... Well, it's not very nice of him, to be honest. He hasn't even shown you around yet. But that's Dogi for you. Eight years ago, he suddenly decided he simply had to go on a journey of self-discovery. To become a man, he said. I wasn't fond of the idea myself, but Chester sternly opposed it. The two of them got into quite a scuffle. They did make up right as Dogi was about to leave, though. To be honest, I have something I need to tell Dogi. Remember yesterday, when I said Chester was out of town? Well, that's true, but he actually hasn't been back in over six months. Oh. He left a note for me on the day he vanished. It just said, I won't be back for a while. I haven't heard anything from him at all since then. Not a word. I'm not sure how to tell Dogi. After he came all this way... Sorry. I don't mean to dump all my apprehensions on you. When he gets back, I guess I'll just have to give it to him straight. I'm sure Dogi will take the news well after all he's seen and done with you. As well as he can, anyway. many were there? Uh, I'm not sure, but there were definitely a lot. More than I've ever seen before. Oh my, sounds like some bad news from the Koi. We've already gone through so much. What's next, Destructive Winds? Uh, 
who are you? Adol introduced himself and asked what was happening. M monsters started gushing out of one of the deep mine shafts in the Tigray Quarry. That's east of here. We only just barely made it out of there alive. But Mayor Edgar is still inside. Uh, so do we. Uh, that's the head miner. Asked me to go into town and get some help. Uh, anybody who's willing and able. Dogi could do this job easily, but he left town a short while ago. Probably too far away to track him down now. I can't go myself either, since I'm the only one trained in defensive combat around here. I've got to guard the town. At all, I hate to ask, but we could really use your strength. Would you put your adventurous skills to use for us and check out the quarry in my place? Yes, please. It would mean a great deal to me as well. The mayor, Dewey, and even Paul are in grave danger right now. Well, yeah, obviously. Thank you so much for this. I can't even imagine how to repay you. We're in your debt, Adol. Here, I've got a map of Felgana. You might need it. Acquired a map of Felgana. You should also make sure you're well prepared, as it sounds like you'll be fighting some monsters in there. Take this and use it to get your equipment refined. Acquired Ravel Ore times one. Oh, well, thank you. And 50 gold. Oh, okay. Go talk to Adonis, the town's smithy. Tell him I sent you, or he probably won't give you the time of day. He's a stubborn one, but he knows how to pound metal like nobody's business. Your equipment's in good hands with him. I do hate asking you to put your life at risk for us, but we need you right now. Show us what you're made of, adventurer. Okay, and where is the... Where is the smithy? <laughs> Welcome. Well, well, what have we here? Are you a traveler by any chance? That sword looks like it's seen a lot of action. You should have it fixed up. This store deals in weapons and armor, along with a handful of our own specially selected curios. So, hey, question. Any idea what's going on outside? I've been hearing one hell of a ruckus from in here. Adol explained the situation in the quarry to Cynthia. Oh my, that's some serious business. You should make sure you're well prepared if you're planning to go to the quarry yourself. The boss is a bit eccentric, but you'll be hard-pressed to find a better smithy anywhere else in the world. If you have any Ravel ore, he can use it to augment the strength of your weapons and armor. So the question is, should I... What should I use it to strengthen up? His weapon or a piece of his armor? One of his pieces of armor. What do you want? I'm Adonis. I own this shop. And if my appearance hasn't given it away yet, I'm happy to confirm that yes, I'm a smithy. Huh. From the looks of that sword, you know what you're doing, at least. But I make it a rule to refine weapons and armor for people I like, and only people I like. Adol relayed Gardner's message. You serious? Gardner sent you? Guess that means you'll take good care of my work, if nothing else. Well, if Gardner says you're good news, then you're good news. Gotta do what the old guy asks. I can augment your sword, armor, and shield here. Just hand them over, and I'll make them better. Well, if you got enough rival ore for the job, anyway. Monsters often get it stuck in their fur or claws and will drop it when killed. Or sometimes, it's just lying around. I'll have to charge you a service fee too, though, or else Cynthia's gonna put up a fuss like you wouldn't believe. And the price varies per piece, as we've got this whole quality chart system in place. Don't ask me, it was her idea. So, what have you got for me? You're part of my clientele now, Adol Kristen, so feel free to come on by anytime you need work done. What will you do? 
Get equipment temper. What do you got for me? Okay. Uh, well, I have enough money to do all of them, but I would need to. But I only have one ravel ore. So again, what should I upgrade? <laughs> what do you guys think I should upgrade? Sword? Okay. This the one? Good to go. Alright. Well, we're done with that, so. Come again. Keep following the road to the east. You'll find the Tyre Quarry in no time. It's really easy to get to. You'll likely run into some monsters on the way, though, so you may want to get your quit. Okay, I already did that. All right, let's go. To actually leave town for this. Okay, here we go. This is where I can save. Good to know. All right. way to go from here. going the right way or not. Nope, I don't think so. Alright, let's head back then.
Echo. already lost it. Okay, this is like where I need to be. Yep, okay, we're good now. Uh, 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 sorry, I thought you were a monster. But if you're not a monster, then who are you? And what are you doing here? Adol gave his name and explained that he had come at Ricardo's behest. Oh, so you're the guy Ricardo got, huh? I don't know where he found you, but you sure do look the part. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're a lifesaver, you know that? <laughs> uh, the mayor's still down in the tunnel, as far as I can say. Well, the boss has been searching around the entrance, mainly, but I guess the mayor got himself stuck farther in. But the last time the boss checked in was a while ago. He hasn't come back for so long. I'm starting to get worried. I, I sure hope the monsters haven't eaten those two. Uh, don't give me chills just thinking about it. Uh, anyway, uh, I really appreciate you coming. Uh, please find Mayor Edgar and old Dewey and, and bring them out. Alive if you can. Uh, that's what I hope to do. Let's go. Ha 
to get down quickly. Uh, uh, why can't I pick those up? up that time, so I'm not sure what happened then. Ah! Yeah, that's gonna get annoying. back up there. Which, I don't know how what that's going to mean for me getting out of here, but I guess I'll just worry about that when the time comes. Times five. Nice. Oh yeah, now I remember this game. I also remember running around like a chicken with its head cut off playing it. Oh, joy. That uh, may not bode well for me then. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll see how I end up doing. barely find my butt with a map and a compass, you'll do better than me. Oh, okay. We'll see. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Alright, 
as I've ever seen you around before. You from Valestine Castle? Adol introduced himself and explained that he had come at Ricardo's behest. I see. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm Dewey, the head miner in this quarry. I came here to look for Mayor Edgar, but this is as far as I got. He's in serious danger here, though. I can't just leave him. Recognize the name? Valestine Castle? Yeah, I do. Fortunately, the monsters down there are in a class all their own. Sword attacks just bounce right off them. Unless we can find some way of dealing with them, I don't see how we can possibly get the mayor out Or at safely. least it rang a bell. Maybe check the storehouse. We found some pretty interesting artifacts a while back. Stored them all in there. Locked up tight, but I've got the key right here. Acquired storehouse key, all right. Since you're not a miner, though, I'm guessing you have no idea where the storehouse is located. Sarah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that now. That's what I thought, so... Yeah, I think you're in the wrong game. <laughs> it's on the other side of the open-air strip mining chamber. That big vertical shaft you pass through. There's a room with two doors at the bottom. It's the one on the left. Help yourself to anything you find in there. I hate to be so useless, but I guess the rest is up to you. Thanks much, Lee Adventure. You're a good man. Uh, okay, I hate this flying enemy. I also hate that. I mean, granted, I don't get hurt when I fall, but it's still annoying. Okay, now I got it. Okay, nope. them alone. Thank <laughs> you. 
get it. Ah, go away. Gosh dang, I hate those things. Nuh uh. introduced himself and explained that he had come to rescue Mayor Edgar. An adventurer? Well, if you're looking for Mayor Edgar, here I am. At all, was it? Thank you for coming all this way. I was accosted by monsters and managed to lose the beer, but hurt my leg quite badly in the process. And more than that, from the looks of you. I was actually just about to hobble my way into the strange old ruins beyond here. When you showed up, they're quite peculiar. I peeked my head in earlier, and I must say, I've never seen anything like them before. At all, I'm sorry to impose upon you even further, especially since we've only just met. But would you be willing to examine these ruins in my place? With my injured leg, I fear what might happen to me should any more monsters attack. But we've come all this way. I know it's rude of me to ask, but I'm sure you're just as curious as I am, no? So please, would you do me this favor? Uh, yeah, I guess I might as well. Is there anything over here first? Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and save again before I head in there. Okay, not what I was expecting. And it might be official now, but ouch. Uh yeah, I'll read what I'll read I'll read what you're saying after this is over. Dragoon. Oh, okay, how am I supposed to attack her? Okay, how the heck am I supposed to be attacking her, seriously? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. And it might be official now at 3-7. to seven, The Pittsburgh Steelers are done this year. I don't see them making the playoffs. Aww. Okay, seriously though, how am I supposed to be attacking her? I can't get anything done. Ah! Ah! Dang it! That's what I said the first time I faced her. Well, I'm will I'm will I'm willing to go ahead and take any tips. So. <laughs> okay, this is already. Okay, I, I did not want this to be a repeat of these origins. So far, it's not off to a good start there.
I don't know how to dodge her attacks, but that doesn't help. That doesn't help me get rid of her. Go to the Googles if you need to. Uh, I guess I'll have to. Because I'm sure not getting any, any ideas. Come on, I didn't take that much damage. Alright, fine. Uh, what was this boss? I don't even know what this boss's name is. Ugh. Uh, this is not the boss I'm talking about. Uh, uh, what? I don't have. I don't have any magic. What is this thing talking about? Did I miss something somewhere? Because I don't have any magic that I'm aware of. You aren't supposed to do this one yet? Oh, okay. Well, I just saved outside, so let's just return to the title screen. So, do I- what do I do then? Just leave with the mayor for now? Except the mayor ain't coming with me, so I'm not sure what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. Back to where Dewey is? Okay. If I remember where that is. Ah, dang it! Ah! Okay, I didn't pass him up, right? Nope. So I gotta figure out how to get back to where he is. Because I can't seem to jump across that thing for some reason. Nope, I can't get back over there. not where I need to go either. Get out of my way! Ugh. Well, I can't get back over there. Uh, well, duh, I definitely can't when I push the wrong button. Okay, there we go, finally. Sheesh. Dang it! 
Then again, I knew I wanted to go make it. I hate those damn bugs. Let me run fast all of a sudden. I'm gonna make it out of here, at least not tonight. Hate those damn things. Hey, wait, okay, that's where I. Okay, here we go. <sighs> well, great. How am I supposed to get there, though? I didn't see any, because as far as I remember, I didn't see anything like that. That side? If so, I'll go ahead and just jump down and get up try to get up that one. Nope, that's not it. So okay, seriously, where's this storehouse he keeps talking about? I have no idea. Actually I guess I'll just still go ahead and jump down. Oh, my God. 
Well, I have no idea where that place is then. Because I've looked everywhere. back this way for a bit because this thing just popped up in front of the game. I gotta close it. Okay, there we go. why you use multiple safe slots. Well, I don't know what difference that makes, but okay. I st it still doesn't help me find it. Because <laughs> I said I've been everywhere. <laughs> and I haven't seen anything that looks like what he's talking about. So a big vertical shaft on your way here, remember the store? House is out on the bottom, across the way. So go back this way, you mean? Okay. Because I thought he meant in that area I came back from, but yeah, if he means in an area I've been to before, then.
off and obviously I gotta climb back up somehow. To get over there, I guess. Storehouse key, okay, here we go. My name is Dulan, Shade of the Great Will. Nice to meet you. I would have you show me your abilities, red-haired swordsman. I'm not supposed to dodge those. Dang it, I was trying to avoid them. Probably go back town to upgrade your equipment. Well, if I do that, shoot, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that's what I'll do, but I'm 
But if I do that, I'm not going to come back and fight this boss tonight. I'll do it next time. Well, no if, like I said, that is what I'm going to do, but... Okay, is this... No, that's not the way I came in, is it? Came in this way. I hope I remember how to get back to town <laughs> from here. Okay, well, at least it was easier getting back than getting... <laughs> there, so maybe I'll know where to go for it this time. Let's see. Was it this one? Yeah, this is the blacksmith. Alright. What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. This the one? Good to go. Uh, should I just strengthen it all as much as I can for now? I can raise each thing another level, looks like. <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to do. This the one? Good to go. Oh, this okay. The one? Good to go. This the one? Good to go. Okay, that's the max level for all of this stuff. Come again. Let's get out. Let's let's get back to where I need to go, and then I'll probably call it a night there. Depending on how much time I have left.
Well, let's go ahead and see what I can get done tonight. I'll see if I can beat this guy now. My name is Dulan, Shade of the Great Will. I would have you show me your abilities, red-haired swordsman. But this will be the last thing I do tonight, whether I beat him or not. <laughs> Okay, probably need to stop doing that. Okay, that was dumb. Alright, let me try again. Can't dodge those attacks very easily, is the problem. Except I did that time. Don't know how. Oh, okay, I did it. Somehow. I'll take what I can get, though. Is that the best you have to offer? Still, you have an unmistakable spark in your eyes. We cannot afford interference at this crucial juncture. I must report this at once. Okay. Well, took care of that boss. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's back here real quick. Acquired Ignis Bracelet. Uh, press the magic key to false to see while a bracelet is equipped. Unleashes a magic attack. The type of attack varies greatly with each bracelet. If your path is blocked, you, you'll often be able to use magic to forge a new route, allowing your adventure to continue unabated. Some enemies are invulnerable to physical attacks but crumble under the might of certain spells. Where swords fail, magic thrives. Ah, so I can take out those bugs now, too. Got it. Da -da 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 -da. The Elmo Brace is especially used if your target's out of reach or you simply don't wish to engage in close quarters combat. Fireballs are a great way to keep your distance. Charge attack after coin at least one ruby. Well, I don't have that at the moment. Okay, let me... Oh well, I probably need to... Okay, there we go.
Okay, this is where I'm going to go ahead and stream for tonight, so hope you all enjoyed it. As always, you can follow my YouTube channel link below to see my past streams, as well as my Twitter to be notified when I go live, or for other announcements. And I will be back tomorrow to continue playing uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails to Sky Second Chapter, so I hope I'll see you then. And if you stick around, I'll be dropping a raid. Uh, let's see. And so far, yeah, I'm enjoying this game pretty well, now that I understand what I'm doing. <laughs> so, definitely looking forward to playing more this next Sunday. Anyway, let's see. Who we're going to raid tonight? Uh... Huh, Daikon's still streaming. I thought he might be done by now. Anyway, let's see. Now let's go ahead and raid Xion, who's playing Pokemon Scarlet, and who's playing Pokemon Scarlet, so I hope you'll stick around for that. And I will see you all tomorrow night. Have a great night, and take care, everyone. Bye.